and hard. But only the purpose of God will prevail. You, you know that what that God was telling me this week? He said, Victor, I don't care what the devil try to do or what people try to do. God said, in the end, my purpose will prevail. That, 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 that's a powerful statement. So I, so I don't care what it looks like in the natural. When it's all over, when it's all done, God's purpose will prevail. The enemy cannot win. So, so I don't care what they try to do to us. I don't care how the enemy try to stop. Amen. The blessings of God from coming over our life. Stop them trying to stop us from prospering and, and, and fulfilling God's purpose. God said, guess what? I, I don't care what's in their hearts. What they're thinking about doing. God said, only my purpose or my counsel will stand. Amen. So I don't care what the enemy said. And you know, you know what that said to me? I was talking to a man of God this weekend, and, and he called me for a prophetic word. And, and, and when he called me, I, I said, let me call you back. I need to pray because I'm, I'm not going to tell you a lie. I need to see, hear what the Lord's saying to me and then before, before I begin to speak to him. And, and so God, and, and that's one of the scriptures that God gave me to give to him was Proverbs 19, 21. Many are the devices in a man's heart. But only the counsel of the Lord shall stand. And the word device there, amen, it means purpose. Amen. The thoughts, the desires. Amen. But, but, but God said, only my counsel is going to stand. Mm -hmm. and, and I told the, young, told the young man, I said, listen, I don't care what the devil trying to do in your marriage. I don't care what the devil trying to do in your finances. God told me to tell you that only my counsel is going to stand. God said, if I told you I'm going to deliver, I'm going to deliver. And God told him, said, quit worrying about your situation because whatever I've ordained is going to come to pass. Amen. I don't know that. I don't care what it looks like in the natural. Jesus. If God's purpose is in it and it's his will for it to work, it's going to have to come back together. And you know what God said to me? God said, Victor, he said, he said I can't resurrect something until it's dead. He said, sometimes things may die. Amen. Because you remember what, you know, who was that Jesus was praying for? Was it Lazarus? Mm -hmm. uh, uh They sitting around, they, they, they crying. Mm -hmm. Mary, Magdalene, and all them. <laughs> but Jesus going to tell, Jesus told him, said, Jesus, uh, um, and I think that was Lazarus he was dealing with. Uh-uh. But, but Jesus let him know that, amen, this situation is that the glory of God may be seen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I know I'm, I'm, I'm kind of paraphrasing, but, but but can I say it that way? Is that some of the things that, that's happening in our lives, where they seem like they're dead, when it seems like, God, you have forsaken, you have left me, you left me in this mess, you left me with all this stuff going on out here in the natural, amen. But, but how many know that, that, that God really can't work good until it's dead? See, that's when we're going to know that it's a supernatural miracle is when God, amen, can take, amen, what, what seems to be dead and resurrect it. So, so don't give up. Don't, amen, don't give up on your family. Don't give up on your finances. Don't give up on your ministry. Don't give up on your family. Amen. But because, amen, when, when it's dead, that's when God can work. Even the Bible said, unless a wheat or corn fall into the ground, it abides alone. But when it dies, it reproduces. I know that's when God can do the supernatural. Sometimes when it seems like things are dead, when things seem like things are dying. And it's even in your own life. When it seems like, God, I'm struggling with this. I'm fighting with this. And, 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 and let me tell y'all this. This is what I'm, I'm trying to get people to understand. Some people like it, some people don't. Because they want to stay stuck on justification mm -hmm. and not transformation. <laughs> it, it, it don't work. It don't work. If, if I say I'm God's righteousness by faith, there ought to be a transformation or a change that takes place in my life. Amen. I mean, a visible, a natural manifestation. Oh, you know what I'm saying, uh, Sister Holder? That means my attitude ought to change something. I'll have a little more love.
love. I'll be a little more kind. That's Amen. Right. That's right. That's right. People ought to see a difference in my life. I should be as worried as I used to be. People ought to see faith operating in me. Okay, thank you, Daddy. I'm going to say that, but he just, he just dropped it in my spirit. Just a, just a simple thing. Faith. Faith. It's just simple. When we say faith, we're saying, God, I trust. Father, I trust. So when you don't walk in faith, you're telling God, I don't believe what you did. Hmm. And how do you know that the promise is a void when you don't have faith? Because mm -hmm. everything that we receive is by faith. Mm -hmm. We receive it by faith. Yes. So to, to me, what I'm trying to get people to understand, and, and this is what people get mad at because it's just the truth. And, and brother, I'm trying to live the best life I can live. I, mean, I don't want to be a hypocrite. I don't want to be out there in the world living any kind of way. That's right. Amen. And it's not that I want to be better than anybody else. I just want to be what Jesus made me. Amen. That's right. And I don't understand, Christian folk, why they don't want to be what Jesus made them. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you know? I, now, just think about this. Can we be practical? I, I just can't imagine Jesus sitting at a table smoking a joint. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I just can't imagine Jesus getting drunk and going to the club on the weekends and, and partying. I, I can't see it. Uh -huh. That's right. See, people don't like that. <laughs> but when you declare yourself to be righteous, then them old things, see, the Bible calls drunkenness and fornication and adultery, that, that's the worst of the flesh. And we should come in. The Bible said we have to be conformed to this world, but to be transformed. So we don't supposed to conform to the and then the attitudes and, and the nature of this world. We're supposed to have the righteousness of God. So that means I, I don't walk the way I used to walk. That's right. Now I do know this. The Bible says a righteous man falls seven times. He get back up. If we make mistakes, he's just and faithful to forgive us. But there ought to be a transformation. There ought to be a change. Mm -hmm. So you just can't say I'm justified by faith and I'm righteous by faith if we never see a manifestation of change. And, and I, listen, and, and, and I, I, I'm a witness to this. I used to drink. I used to smoke. Mm -hmm. I used to party. And I had to pray and ask God to deliver. Because I say, God, amen, I don't want to say I'm your righteousness. I don't want to say I'm saved and, and, and th th there's no change in my life. Because I mean, you know, people looking at our life, not, not what we say, but they're looking at what we do. That's right. So true. And I don't say these things to condemn people, make people feel bad. But what I'm trying to get people to understand, we got to grow. We got to mature. We got to bear fruit. That's right. We got to bear fruit that will bring change into our life. And I think people don't like that because they don't want responsibility. Or they just like doing what they're doing. <laughs> and all I'm trying to say is, we can't just say it's all in the spirit. And we don't never see it operate in us. That's just like we saying, oh, Jesus healed the sick and raised the dead, but we ain't put our hands on nobody. Ain't nobody got sick. We ain't doing no work. We just saying we got all this power and ain't doing that. James said, faith without works is dead. Mm -hmm. You got to do something. Mm -hmm. People got to see something. They got to see a manifestation. And, and understand this. Even the change don't come through you. It comes through the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So it's still not of works, lest any man should boast. I'm talking about the work of the Holy Spirit, not the work and the effort of, of, of you and I trying to make ourselves righteous, but we allow the Holy Spirit to change us and to transform us where we're walking in God's righteousness in our everyday life. 